I just had a conversation with someone who spent seven months at a Buddhist retreat center and uh, you could call him a monk at least at this moment in time and so I wanted to share an insight that we uh, both had during this conversation and it was based in his experience when he told me uh, when he first encountered the past so to speak and he went to uh, a Buddhist center for the first time to spend there several months actually and trying to uh, attend a long-term retreat. Uh, right now he's in Burma but in uh, his first retreat I think he went to India um, and he wanted to really get serious about waking up and what happened to him and what uh, I experienced in another way uh, in the same in a similar way before is he had intense fear of the ego come up and this is typical for people who first encounter insights into the nature of reality and especially into the nature of no self and this is something I wanted to mention in this video because if you are serious about uh, meditation about experiencing uh, truth and having insights into the nature of reality for yourself be aware that you will encounter ego based fear and it will feel so intense. For him it was um, the reason he left the place after some time and went back to England to have a, another job, basically get back into 9 to 5 which he wanted to quit before and it was like his ego drive that um, brought him back to going back to what the ego knew, what felt safe, what felt uh, like it's a um, a life that he's used to and where like really everything is going and everything is going for him and the world seems to be a certain way and when you wake up and you start to have insights that there really especially is no self then expect that there will be very very intense fear coming up and it will take on different forms for everyone but it will manifest itself in some way and so this ego fear is really rooted in a sense that whatever you're experiencing your whole life is like a whole on it's empty inside it's like um, there's no one there controlling anything and this whole experiential field that we feel is so real is what there is to reality that's all of reality so to speak there is nothing else and there is also no one person there inside having some kind of control that's the nature of the illusion it's coming together as a complete sensory experience that has the result of um, feeling like there is someone there and so when that is revealed to you it feels very um, <laughs> your heart it makes your heart jump you jump back into oh no that's this can't be true this just can't be uh, how it is and it's it feels very uh, daunting and it feels like it's a haunted universe it's like all of this is going on but actually it's not going on at the same time and it, especially it's not going on for anybody it's not personal in that sense and in another sense it's very personal because all of that which is going on is the only thing that's actually going on and you are it and so it's unpersonal in the sense that there's no one person there as you thought it was before but there's just this whole process this very sense sensory first person experience going on that makes it on the other hand a very personal experience um, yeah that's what we discovered during this talk and I asked him if he is up for an interview that we can share on this channel and so this is something we will probably do in the future and with that said I wanted to remind you of ego-based fear that can come up in the spiritual journey and be prepared for it it can be very very intense it might have different outcomes for you and watch out for it. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one. Goodbye.